Welcome to Trading Lounge and the uh, global indices, but today I want to start with the uh, US dollar. So over the last uh, few days, we've been talking about a top in the uh, US dollar here and just really waiting to see if it was going to sort of fall out of bed and uh, yeah, and slowly sort of pick out its sort of pattern. Well, we definitely got some sort of turn here. Um, it could come all the way down to this point here. I just want to look at the bigger picture for a moment. So we'd been counting up through here. It was a bit of a rickety road, but um, it looks like we've got a sort of uh, top in here. And um, the next step is that I just have to monitor this here to pick up uh, the count here to see how this is going to uh, play out. I normally wait for the first leg down to see if it's in three waves or five waves and all those sorts of things. I'm um, in the bigger picture uh, here for the US dollar because this is, you know, we've seen this um, pull down here. We've seen the US dollar, um, uh, sorry, the, uh, the US indices and others following pop to the upside. Uh, we've also seen gold push to the upside and uh, and bitcoin as well so they all sort of pivoting off this um off this um market to a point um we've also got um gdp figures coming out in the next session and adp figures for the employment figures which will basically impact or have some sort of uh sentiment on what happens on friday as well so with the us dollar here i just want to sort of just I don't have any sort of, you know, strong answers for anything, but I think it's just important to um, shoot the breeze on a little bit. So um, we can view this situation with the US dollar as one, two, three, four, five down to here, and then an A wave and a B wave and a C wave finishing right here. So I could bring the C wave down for wave two right here. And in this instance, we actually just continue to come down here. If that was the case, then we would see Bitcoin um, <clears throat> start to push up. We would see gold uh, continue to uh, push up and we would see the indices and so on push up as well. So it is an interesting sort of point to 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 consider. Um, the other point is that um, this particular box here was just the resistance that the market would face over here. So it's just noise. So I'm just going to remove that. And... The other point here is that this particular move up here that's in five waves can be wave C. And I have to say, I kind of like it because it, it's got some sort of equality to um, wave A and wave B here. You know, they're kind of, uh, you know, they're not exactly the same, but, you know, they're not really out of proportion in terms of equality to, uh, to a point. And the other, the other point here is that um, we could just, this move up here could just be, um, well, there's different ways to look at it. There's a bit of an A and a B and a C wave, but I won't go into that right now. The other way to look at this would be the wave one and two here, and then three, four, five up here, having five, like this five wave structure here into the, into the 61.8% here. So that's possible. Um, I don't, I, I kind of got a little bit more weight on this one, actually, um, because um, first of all, we're close to a, a large number here, the 100, and the quality between these structures here, because if I put this as wave one and two here and three, four, five up here, this whole leg here is really quite humongous compared to uh, to these dudes here, you know. Anyway, it's an interesting sort of, situation so i will we'll be keeping an eye on on this because it really affects the, the bigger picture uh here a lot so we need to see if we um you know how this plays out here i mean we'll well i'm quite sure we'll get five waves in the first leg and the second so it's going to take a little bit of time but we need to see if this is actually going to slip down here and sometimes um you know, if you look around at other markets, and it could be gold, it could be silver, it could be Bitcoin, um, other sort of markets that are affected by this or that are doing the inverse to this, they might have a wave count that um, suggests um, something that the others don't, that we don't see in, in, in the dollar, for instance, you know. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, so like with the dollar here, I mean, the, the, uh, the gold market here, sorry. Um, just as an example, you know, we can look at this here as the A, the B and the C wave down here and put put this wave two here. 
that's one way to look at it. But if uh, if the US dollar is just going to have three waves up, um, uh, three waves down, then gold here will have look have to look at this as wave one and two here, and then three, four, five. So, yeah, we, we'll, we'll get to the answer. Um, I just don't know it just yet. We'll just probably have to wait a few sessions to, to get to that, get, get to that point. But, um, it could, you know, uh, if this wave two is in here, then it, it can, uh, ignite a much longer term trend. And one of the ways that we would do this just in a very sort of, um, nutshell way here is this move up here. If we can see five waves up here to hit roughly the 2000, then we'll know that we're bullish at that point. Well, it won't be confirmed because we could also put wave B over here as an A and a B and a C. It does count okay like that, but anything above those five waves and then we'd be bullish at that point. But obviously we want to pick it all up much earlier than that. But, you know, just in case, um, uh, I just mentioned that because it, it may help somebody a little bit down the track, you know. Um, I won't go into Bitcoin. I'll probably do a video on that today. Um, but, uh, and put this dollar away over here and come back to the S&P. So the S&P here is we can have wave, um, I've got wave four here, or we can look at wave four being over here with a C wave over here and an A wave here and a B wave here for this. So we'll track five waves up here. Those five waves up here will hit supply, you know, above or below the 4,500. The ADP figures and the GDP figures that are coming out in the next session, they're going to warp things around a little bit. Um, so it's not going to make it sort of easier, but once the dust settles, we'll be able to pick it up. But if, for example, that we do get five waves up here, then anything above those five waves would send us bullish at that point. Otherwise, if uh, otherwise, if the news that comes out, um, you know, is, is whatever, then we'll look at wave an, another structure coming down here. Now, there's a case for this here, for this A wave, B wave, and C wave here. If I just go to, um, <clears throat> oh, where are we? Intraday, I've got 20,000 here, I think. Okay, so yeah, this is it here in a little bit more detail. And the reason I want to show this is that the reason that I've got this is an A and a B and a C wave here and kind of always had it. It's just that I thought that we could put wave B over here, but it was a bit shy here. But on the NASDAQ, it pulled back up to 61.8% on, on this B wave here. So it was possible. Um, but the reason for this particular count is basically from uh the core of the markets here um apple so just uh coming back into this so we can see this here apple was one of the stocks there's probably more was one of the stocks that we could actually see five waves down here so in that case we we're looking for an abc um and as it stands today, I won't go into all my mistakes, but as it stands today, um, we can look at this as the A, the B and the C wave here. And in this case, uh, we've got wave one here and two here, and we're going with the third waves certainly, you know, nearly fully developed. Um, we still need wave four and five to get up there. So once we've got those five waves there, just in a bit of a nutshell here, is that um, will the market you know, come down for wave C, or are we in a bull market? Well, what the way that we can approach it um, is that once these five waves here are completed, then we're going to have an A and a B and a C wave here. Now, we can go along above the B wave. So if the market is going to be bullish, it's going to take the B wave out and trigger us in at that point, and then we'll keep climbing at that point. If it doesn't take that out, then it's going to... Um, end up coming lower. So I'll take this one out here. So after three waves here, um, we can go short at this point and long at that point. So that's what we'll be looking for. And um, we can improve on that, of course, um, but I won't go into all of that at the moment. But it just gives you an idea of what we can do at this point, you know, because this could play out as wave one and two and then one and two here, you know. So we'll see. We'll see see what we need to do at that point. But this is where the, based on this 
being a five wave structure here this is where the abc comes and this is where we'll look, we look for that in terms of um the nasdaq and the s p the move down here with the s p it can be counted uh as an a bit as an a and a b and a c wave down here it can be counted as five waves down it's all a little bit messy in here we can go to um, some of the other markets and like the XLK, for example, um, is much like the, uh, as much like Apple. Um, so yeah, um, as in a way it kind of do doesn't matter as well because with wave four here, this can still be three waves here. We can still get another move over here. You know, it could be part of the flat family corrections and so on so um wave four is always a little bit tricky and it's only once they're done and dusted um or matured that you can kind of figure them out when you're halfway in them they could pretty much be anything and that's why it's important to look around at other markets and that's why we're looking at apple uh and apple ha has got a pretty clear five waves down here so we have to respect this particular structure here of having uh one and two and three and four and five here rough roughly and then we're going to have some sort of um after five ways we get some sort of abc correction now we could go up from that point um and we can go long above there and we can go short down here and move down at that point it's difficult to go short here actually because if this is going to be one and two here this is going to be this can just this third wave can just kind of not really retrace back that much and it can slip away on you like here you know you can just sort of slip away so it's not as easy as i'm pointing it out to be um there's other um caveats that need to be uh, understood at this point um 20, ticks into 1000 ticks <clears throat> i just want to have a look at the um the volume on this too this is the spx here so yeah we've got increased um uh, increased volume uh, coming in on um, on on this so that's all positive at this point so we'll keep an eye on on the volume I'll just have a little look at the weekly here just I mean it's not finished just yet but um, we'll see if you know I mean for this to continue to push up here we would need to see increased volume we need more volume in this bar here than that bar you know, we don't have that so far we'll see how we'll see how it goes and um yeah so this is just uh in here so let me just sort this out a little bit here so the a way way four could be here it could be over here with this one with the wave c over here we don't know just yet about this so we're just working through that particular issue but in terms of um moving up here <clears throat> Let's just sort this out a little bit. I'll probably we spend more time on the NASDAQ because that's kind of what's driving this a bit more. Oh, I don't need those ones, do I? I need these ones. So we'll put wave one here, two here. Uh, we talked about being long and short and everything here yesterday, but I'll just clean these up here. so we'll just um little five waves here so that's the top then the abc pants so i normally go long above here or, or or here and you could also work it in here but i'll put this in here because we talked about it yesterday and um we need to sort of understand it a little bit more here so we can put wave one here and wave two here and that looks uh that's actually one two three four five so it's got to go up a little bit higher that one just get that a little bit higher here just <clears throat> knock this count out here so this will be in here somewhere and that's got to go up a little bit further Not, um, one two three there we'll still need four we'll still need five up here so we don't know if that's a B wave. We're just putting it there for the time being, you know. So <clears throat> if you were long here, then taking some money off at the 500 would be 
um, at the at the four thousand five hundred would be acceptable. There will be uh, a way four to come into play as well. Um, oh, actually, that's not right either. That's better. Sorry about that. Um, so the, the ADP figures and the GDP figures are going to create a series of um, uh, fluctuations uh, uh, across the four five here, so above and below. Um, I would be looking to um, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we could go up a bit higher here. <clears throat> I mean, the length of wave one here and the length of wave three and four here, you would expect this to be, if the extension's in wave three here, so that's looking good. So if we pull this back to this wave four in here, which will be this wave four, and they never really pull back evenly anyway, so they do sometimes, but that would leave us much higher up here. So you, we could end up here further. I think... Um, I think somewhere around the 4530 would be a safe bet to take stuff off at that point. But with those GDP figures and ADP figures coming out in the next session, this is going to get a bit wild here. So taking some money off here would be common sense, you know, just, yeah. So, um, so same with the NASDAQ as well. We can look at this as wave four here, um, or we'll need to put wave four over here and we'll need to count five waves up here like we just did with Apple and so on and then come down at that point or we just push up but after these five waves from here to here we can go along at that above that um, so we don't know what the answer is going to be just yet but um, the answer will come and we'll need to act um, uh, in a certain way at a particular time so on to the 20 tick thousand tick here just to look at this here yeah so um, I think I've got this counted slightly differently on the 1000 tick so I'll just check on that but basically in a nutshell we can have wave 4 here it can be over here yada 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 um, or an A and a B and a C wave up uh, here and then we um, then we can come down at this point so we can come down here or we're going to have simply have some sort of A B C pattern and then we're going to push up again And we're going to take the US dollar into consideration as well. And we'll have a look at where the US dollar is tomorrow as well. And we'll try to fit them in so everything everything fits in. So we could be able to fit gold in, silver in, Bitcoin in, um, all, all of these doing the inverse there. <clears throat> I just want to have a look at, um, so yeah, if you're long here, <clears throat> then uh, taking some money off uh, in here. And you could probably get up here further as well. I'll just have a look at the thousand tick. I thought I might have had a slightly different count. Just bear with me a second. Oh, okay, I've got it this way here. I just need to double. I haven't really, uh, I don't have any confidence in what I just did here. Um, <clears throat> might need to check. So. This doesn't even come down here as a nice C wave either, by the way, you know. <clears throat> so it is possible to put this here and have a and extend this third wave up further with a one here and two here <clears throat> and extend this up further. So it does need a little bit more work on all of this, but we'll just get past the ADP and GDP figures coming out, which will, you know, this trend will correct itself a little bit. Um, yeah, so um, there will be further upside, but it's going to get a little bit um, choppy in the next session. Um, so, okay, so the Russell, <clears throat> this is the ETF here. So it's just a little bit um, softer. We can look at it as, um, as a one and two here and uh, all the way down for three and ABC for the four here. It's getting a little bit high here for the way four, but... We'll play it out um, until the end uh, here, but um, yeah, up around the the ninety here, and then we'll have to uh, change this. the The actual futures all um, here. We can look at it like this here with one and two, three, four, five for the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave up here. This configuration can be counted differently here as well. 
Um, I, I understand that, um, but it's sort of okay. I mean, we've got to put some big correctional thing in here for this. Um, so yeah, so that's basically where we're working. We also looked at this, this can also be wave two here, um, you know, based on this wave C here. I won't go into that here. We looked at that yesterday. Um, I got to gather some more information here as well on all of that. But anyway, if if we get, you know, in the other markets, if we do get one, two, three, four and five here, well then, you know, we can look at an ABC pattern and then we can go further up at that point because we got we can work it from the low here. But so far we just got three three waves up here. So this is why it can fail up here. So there's nothing really to do here. But it's kind of in line with the um, Dow Jones. So with the Dow Jones, uh, we've been looking at it, <clears throat> the DJ here as the A, the B, the one and the two and the three, four, five here. You could put a wave four here as well, I guess. But, you know, I mean, shit, we're at the, uh, well, depending on where you look at it from, isn't it? So um, I kind of like this ABC. We've had it here for a while. So we're at the, or from this point, if this was going to be a wave four, we're at the 50%, which is okay you know, as long as it doesn't overlap wave one, which would be this one here. Um, but uh, yeah, once again, uh, here, um, we'll just see if we get our five waves up here and then we'll work the pullback if we can get those five, you know, if there's a nice clear five wave structure here for this. But yeah, our ABC correction is sort of, you know, we we just kept on counting it and this is where we are at the moment. So <clears throat> we will look for trade on this side if, if it um, presents itself. And then we come over to the DAX. So it's the same with the DAX and the, as you know, we could line this up with the, or have lined it up with the, um, the S&P and the NASDAQ. So um, the interesting thing here though, is that we don't have five waves from the top to the bottom here. So this is a corrective pattern. All of these, I mean, you can get five waves out of this one here, by the way, but you could probably also get three waves out of it. This is three, this is three, this is three, you know, this is three, you know. So it's kind of got this expanding triangle sort of thing uh, going on. Um, so it is possible that, um, you know, we can just get a double three here. So this here we looked at on the intraday last time as the A, the B and the C coming up here. So that will come up into the box here. It's hitting all of this uh, resistance all the way through here at the uh, 16 here. So it's not going to go very far. What we have to watch out for is that will we get one more leg down here for this, you know, before we um, can push up here in line with the with the s p and so on or do we just push straight up from here with this way four? so it's the same it's the same story here you know um i'm not going to go long into a big number or into a into 61.8 percent it just doesn't make any sense you know it's and plus yeah, all those figures are coming out so it makes it a little bit difficult so i don't know if we've got wave four here or here you know there is a case of putting wave one up here as well but um i don't think that's the case not with this three wave move here if we had a nice swift a wave here in five waves then i could sort of buy that but not at the moment <clears throat> And then we come over to the English market. So this one here has got me stumped a little bit. And the thing about Elliot is that if I know something and I have a lot of confidence in it, well, then I don't mind having a bet, you know. But if I don't know what the pattern is and it's getting too complicated and it could be this, this and this and that or that, well, then I don't particularly, you know, I can't really do much with that. And I can't really help with this particular one. So I'm, I'm really in the guessing game a little bit. I know that, you know, we can track, uh, this this move up here, that's not a problem. Uh, some of the obvious things is that from the top here, we've got three waves here. We have made a new low below here. So, um, uh, you know, if and, and on the cash market we have as well. So if it, we hadn't made a new low below here, then it would give it a diff I could give it a different spin on it. But as far as the cookie crumbles, I think that we're probably better off counting five waves up here for a wave C and then coming down here and and then going up, especially if um, if if the if if this is going to be an ABC here for the DAX or the S and P five hundred or the Nasdaq and have that uh, move down here and then move up, that's what we're kind of expecting. Then this would this particular pattern with five waves up here and then then a 
then a move back down and then a move up would be about right for this. But is this right? I don't know. You know, I, you know I'm you not, know, not quite sure how this uh, plays out uh, here. I don't know if we're on 1,000 or 5,000. Okay, this will do, yeah. So basically, this is what I was sort of thinking here. I was thinking um, wave one with an ABC for two here, three, four, and five for one and two. I could put wave one here. There is a count for that too. That makes sense. Um, but in the meantime, I'll just put it here and we've got one and two, one and two, one, two, three, four, five, four, third. So there's a bit of a bit of a journey to go up here. Um, like I could shorten the journey to have this wave three as the top by putting this wave one here over here for this. Um, this would be wave one here and two here, then one, two, three, four, five, a third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave here. But I just feel this move here is actually part of this leg here. Not it's not the same family, but it's it's um it's it's connected to it more so. But I can see both counts. But anyway, um that wave three could be the top at that point. Um and in here we've got one, two, three, four, and coming up here for five, for three and four and five up here for this. So yeah, I mean at <clears throat> at um at uh at face value, that could be the top at that point. So <clears throat> we need to be a little bit mindful um, of that when we get there. Um, but that's the, the UK market and the Australian market. Before we go to the Australian market, I just want to go and have a look at um, at uh, China for a moment um, <laughs> because um, the funny thing is, is that um, you know, when the I'd always thought China was in trouble because I, I watch YouTube channels with people with their little cameras, you know, checking out how many how many containers there are sitting on the on the on the dock and how many trucks are going in and out and all and you know it's just been empty for so long and it's it's taken the mainstream media so long to get to the point where you know that that they that they're talking about it now they're talking about doom and gloom for china and then that makes me think that you know they're way behind the the, the curveball on this and um i'm thinking that we could be in a situation here this is a this is the the uh the composite uh here for china and this is a monthly chart and it's a pretty nice triangle, really. You know, when you look at wave three over here with an A wave, a B wave, and the patterns are getting smaller. This pattern in here is smaller than, than the, the original one here. Then this is a bit smaller. This is a bit smaller. Now, I could um, put this wave E here. I could bring it over here, and we could actually have another sort of move down. But we do have a nice line through here anyway. So it's possible that this is, is is here. Now, the reason I'm sort of showing this for is because basically a move across the top here would send the market bullish at that point. So that means that, you know, they're in, you know, that G would have to put his hands in his pocket and spend some money um, and make stuff happen, you know. Um, and I think that might be the case here for, for, for this. Um, so we're just sort of tracking this in here a little bit. We'll have a look at this little move up here because it appears to be five waves. Now, I know it could be connected to this here as an A wave here, an A, B and C wave here, and then come down. I, I understand that, but um, I just wanted to, because this will affect Australia and um and others, of course. Um, so that's the, let's have a look on the weekly chart here. So this is a little bit cleaner here. Uh, was, but here we go. So, um, so I know I can put wave E here, but as I just mentioned, I could look at this as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here, right? And then we could come down from that point. I can bring wave E over here. So all of this would be the A, the B, and the C wave down here for this. And we come down to here, you know, that's all possible, right? But all I wanted to say is that there is a little five waves here on the weekly. And that if that top is breached, we don't even have to wait for the top really, because we can just go on this second top here. If that's breached, right, then, um, then I can push this back over to here and then bring this wave four in. And, that's a big deal. You know, this has been going on for, you know, 
this triangle pattern has been going on for a long time here, you know. And the takeaway with this, by the way, is that um, that this move down through here, that's this one, this one, and this one, and this. These are these are corrective patterns. So at some point in the future, these tops will be taken out. So that's pretty crazy, isn't it? You know. So while there's all that doom and glooming, um, uh, I'm coming in with a bit of a positive spin. But I certainly understand that we can, you know, based on the pattern, is that we can come down here first. Um, a bit of a deeper move here and then and then move up from that point but anyway we'll just keep an eye on it it's not a, not a big deal but it is helpful um to uh to the rest of the world obviously um and um this is australia here so this is you know this pattern all the way across here is pretty you know you can see that it's pretty complicated so i do struggle with it and i'm sure other folks do as well um and it's not an easy pattern you know um our market in australia is squashed between banks and materials finance and materials sector and when they both run together then this market runs you know with the wind in its sail so to speak um but otherwise if those two are doing opposites to each other then um then it can get sort of a bit squishy um, in all of this. So uh, there's a couple of things that could play out here, um, a little bit like the English market, I guess. So the situation here is that I've been working a, a large triangle pattern here with, with an A wave, an A, B, C for the B wave here, and then an A, B and C wave down here for the, so an A, B and C here. And then I'll need the D and the E wave here and then push up. So it's almost a little bit like China as well. But also too, within this structure here, so this A wave here, I've had this as an A and a B and a C wave here for the B wave. I can look at this here as a B wave and then go down for wave one. And we'll have to look at this as wave two and then three, four and five down here for the C wave. So that's, that's possible. The other count with this is that you see I've got these dotted lines in here is that where we've got a smaller triangle. This is a smaller triangle within the bigger triangle. So in this case, I would need to look at this from the B wave here. I need to look at this as an A wave here an A, B, C for the B wave. And then here where that wave one is, that becomes the A wave here with a B wave here and then a C wave here for this this C wave and then a D and an E here. So instead of having the C wave here, I end up getting a triangle across here just for the C wave, then the D and then the E and then up. So it's very complicated. And the other pattern with this, so there's these two these two patterns here, which basically follow the same pathway. So it's not, not a huge deal. Um, the other one here on the 20K is a more bullish count and there's nothing sort of wrong with this. We've had it for a while. Um, it did come down quite low down to here, but, um, and it's a bit weird as well. I, I understand that in, in terms of, you know, the, the way one here is fine. All of this is fine from, from here because this makes this a, just go back a little bit here. So just from the top here, we can look at the top here as an A, B, C, D and E here for this. And then look at this as um, wave one to the upside and wave two here. It's kind of holding up quite nicely on the uh, 7,000 here, isn't it really? So it's kind of like it's found its base in a way, you know. Um, so... Yeah, so looking at this as wave one here and coming back for wave two here is a, is a possibility. But for this to be here, we would need a nice clean five waves up here and then we would have, you know, the correction of that point and then we could look to go along. But based on five waves here, we could go up again at that point. But we've got to kind of fold into the rest of the world as well. So we could end up doing those other patterns and coming down here. So a lot depends on all of this. This this market is likely to come up and hit the supply level coming through here at the next level, which is uh, 7 3 um, and would also be roughly, well, the supply is in here, the resistance. 
supply just meaning sellers so it's also the 50 percent here as well um on this we can go and have a look at this on the intraday uh, and a further intraday in a, in, a, in a minute um but that's really this block and this number is where you know it's um going to stop at that point so we'll have to see what we get at that stage so just with all that said i know that's complicated and i'm not giving any sort of answers and i don't sort of have any answers for it unfortunately um so in a bit of a nutshell um you know we can look at it as wave one up here and back for wave two and continuing up but we don't have to worry about that if we do get five waves up here for example if we do get five waves up here, well, then we'll be bullish after the ABC pattern. Okay, that won't be that won't be an issue. That's how we'll handle anything bullish at that point. Um, when we do get up here in that box, we'll see what type of count that we have at this point. This is the low here, <clears throat> so um, we could look, view all of this down here as wave one here, and then going back for wave two in the box and then going down for wave three. So that would be one, two, three, four, five down for the C wave. Or we'll look at the more triangle pattern that we were looking at before and considering this an A wave here and a B wave up here. Now the B wave, both of these structures here will need, both of these will need three waves up here. All right? if, um, if we do get five waves up here, <clears throat> then, um, then we could look at that as wave one up here. And then back for wave two, but we, you know, we don't have that just um, uh, just yet. So let's go into the one hundred ticks and just sort of try to understand this here a little bit. Um, one hundred. Okay, so just to get out. Um, bearings here i wouldn't worry about that wave three at the moment we can move that oh i mean we were looking at it at as a possible wave c or four here so it's possible um, um so I'll, I'll just leave that at the moment um so as a wave four here we can look at it as an a and a b and a c and it'll have to stop where this wave three is here on that case so i'll just leave that there um, but otherwise we're looking for, um, well, we can look for five waves up and it's looking quite good for five waves actually. So one, two, three, four, five here for wave one. I suppose, that, well, I don't know if I need to put that over here. It doesn't really matter at that point. It's either one or, the, one or the other. I can see here that we've got one, two, three, four, five for one and two and three, four, five. A little bit messy in here, but we're going to look at that as one and two and then one and two and three and four here then up for five for three so from here we've got one two three four and there's a little five waves here for one and two here now this has moved along a little bit here so i could probably put that in here you know it's a little bit a little bit shy uh one two one two um one and two one two three one two three and i've got to go up another one so i have to go up to this point a little bit higher here for that so we're going to go up higher what numbers have we got up there we'll look at that in a moment um so yeah well that's just not going to be a wave four we'll be up at the b wave up here so we can look at this as um as um wave two or wave b that's really what we're looking at here and then down here let's just update this while we're here sorry there's wave one or wave a <clears throat> so yeah we just need to see what we get when we get here is the market going to stop here or are we going to get wave four and wave five here and have five waves up so the count is quite clear so far let's just hope it you know we can make heads and tails of it um, in due course um, but if we do get five waves up here, then we're going to have to look at it as wave one over here. That's the other side of the coin, wasn't it? So that becomes a bit interesting at that point. So, yeah, a few options here. So all I can tell you is that we're, we're going to be going up into 73, um, and then we're going to have some sort of uh, correction 
Uh, here, I don't know if it's going to be an ABC or we or we come further down at that point, but it's something we have to uh, work through. But if we get five waves here, then we'll get an ABC and then we'll go up. So we'll be interested in, in going long at this point. Um, the only other thing I can sort of add here is that between 200 and 300 here, we'll have the levels one, two and three here for group one the midpoint here for the, the 50 and then number eight here for um, for the sub levels here. And if we're going to go eight, we have to go 265, 265. Um, you can get that in there. And then the 72 in here, 272, that will play a bit of a, when you get two, when you get 772 or 272, in this case here, we've got 7272. Um, so it's going to carry a bit of weight. I don't know why that is, but it's such a good number. I don't know. Something to do with nines too, I guess. It's seven and two is nine. As they say, the nineness of it all. Um, but uh, anyway, that's, um, that will be sort of a resistance for that wave three here. And we're going to get sort of, we're going to get some sort of pullback at that point. So just be a bit mindful um, of that. Alrighty, sorry for such a long video. Okay, cheers. cheers.